That was really loud. Like, absurdly so. Okay, I had to really lower the volume there. This game contains flashing lights, violent content, and potentially disturbing material. We hope you like it. For as long as you could remember, legends have been told of a derelict mansion upon the hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origin. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark... You embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. Okay, so hi everybody! I'd like to welcome you to this new series. It's going to be really fun. This is Spooky's House of Jump Scares, or Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I can't remember what the actual name is because I think I remember it as one or the other. Either way, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I'm not actually going into this blind, but I'll explain that a little bit more in some detail, but starting off, I just want to make sure all the settings are okay, because I have some other things that are also set up, and I want to make sure nothing is in the way, so the controls, keyboard, everything, this is the most boring part of the run, I'm sure, but the controls seem really simple, and I guess all this is mouse stuff, so we don't have to worry about that, user interface, not important, not important, mouse stuff, in-game, up, down, right, left, up, yeah, okay, easy stuff, all easy. Okay, so, we're gonna start a new game, but the way I want to talk about this is just give a little bit of backstory before we begin, because I have a feeling that once the game actually begins, I'm gonna be a little bit too engrossed, and I won't be able to talk about it. So, I love this game, although I've never actually finished it. In fact, I've never played this game myself. Not personally. So, I heard about this game a long time ago, and it was really nice. Um... I've always wanted to play with some friends, because I thought that this was more of a party game, so like you'd sit with a friend and you'd play it together and it'd be really fun, but we've never actually gone really far, so since I've never actually played it, I always wanted my friends to play it because I felt like I knew a bit more about the game and it would be more interesting to see their expressions and their experiences. The furthest anyone's ever gotten is about 300 rooms in, and if you know anything about this game, there is a thousand rooms, so I don't know very much about what happens past that point and I'd really like to know so I've got five friends to play this game and I've kind of lost my patience with people quitting about 100 150 rooms in so I'm gonna play it today and I really hope it you know it turns out really fun so we're gonna start off with a new one I did not realize there were more modes in fact I might have actually played a really old version of this game so we're starting fresh the mansion, a renovated version of the original jump scare mansion. I think that sounds perfect. Unlock the secrets of the abandoned hospital. Actually, I that sounds fun too. We could do that some other time. And build your own mansion, of course. So we'll start with the mansion. ASDF to move and the mouse. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. There we go. I'm just going to make it a bit louder. I really love the voice acting in this game. I think it's done super well. Okay, so to the best of my knowledge... Actually, I don't remember there being music in this part of the game. So, you just walk up to the door, and I think you left-click it. Space. Space is to open. And you have to get through about a thousand rooms. Now, if you look at the... Like, right below me, you'll see that I have a little counter there. And that counter is for every time I get spooked. And the idea is it's when I get actually spooked. So I don't intend to fake it. I don't intend to pretend to get scared. I'm not really that type of guy. But um, if something genuinely scares me, I will... <laughs> I'll add it to the counter and we'll see how high the counter can go by the time we reach a thousand. If we reach a thousand... I know the game gets really scary later down the line. I've seen people panic. I've seen things get really scary, so... I'm not going to hold my breath, but I do believe that... Yeah, there's some potential. There's a way to get through it. I remember the very first time I saw this game, and I wanted my friend to play it with me. Um, he doesn't like scary games. He actually found it particularly terrible. How did I run? I can't remember. Shift. Uh, he found it... Like, the idea behind it was too scary for him. He thought there's... You know, it's not his cup of tea, so... Okay. There are locked doors here. Um, I think that's new compared to what I remember. So he asked me to take him, you know, basically the idea was if I treated him to some McDonald's, he would 
play the game with me, and that's what we did. So I kind of got this little tradition. Hold on. At first this place seemed cute, but I've been here for days now, I'm feeling quite parched now. I keep getting this feeling like I'm being washed by something. This is not romantic at all. So I actually remember this guy, and he's probably one of my favorite things about this game. He just leaves these little notes here. And, you know, as you go, there's a story unveiling. But these rooms are getting a lot more creative than I remember. And I think it might just be because this is the newest updated version. Like, I never saw this poster before. Painting, excuse me, for my poor English. And here we go, a skull. That's nice. So, the first guy got to about 300 or so rooms. And that means that, like I told you, I've had five people play this game and... I feel like that shouldn't count. I mean, I get it, cute and all. It did alarm me, but it didn't like scare me, but I'm gonna give it one anyway, just because, you know, it interrupted me. I stopped talking from it, so. The first guy got to about 300 or so rooms and it took us a few hours to get there. To the best of my knowledge, he found it really scary going in. And uh, it was one of those situations where the thing that scared him, and I'm not gonna spoil it because to be honest, I kind of don't remember it very well to m myself, but whatever it was that scared him, I remember caused him to delete the game then and there and leave, right? Everybody else I've played with had never gone even nearly that far. The furthest anyone got after him was about 150, so that's something to look forward to. Now, the rooms are getting a little bit repetitive, so it's kind of losing its novelty, but that's okay. I'm already at 29. If I'm not mistaken, it's every 50... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Okay, it's genuinely is actually kind of kind of spooky when you're playing on your own. Because again, like everybody I've ever played with has actually had me sitting there with them, so I think it that helped a lot. And kind of knowing that things could come out at any time, especially because I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen the game, just in case someone is actually watching this. There are things that can happen. <sighs> oh god, alright. There are things that can happen and. Oh, wait, there's collision on this? Yeah, you could. Oh my god, you could get stuck on those. Uh. <laughs> you know, these things didn't even make me flinch when I was watching my friends play. There's genuinely something much scarier about being the one playing. Um. So for this first. I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Okay. Uh, it's currently... Well, 12.59, so it's basically 1 a.m. Um, which I believe was supposed to be you know, a good time to play a game like this. It really adds to the experience. The reason why I have this light on, I mean, I considered playing with the light off, but if I did that, as you could take a look, well, I figured it's a little bit too dark, you're probably not going to enjoy this. It makes me look a little bit, a little bit less handsome. So I put just a tiny bit of a lamp here so that, you know, you can enjoy this this face of mine in the process while we're playing this game. Also, I hope the sound quality is okay. I can't actually tell if I'm, how I sound. I can't hear myself. Ink, not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. And he is correct, it is not romantic at all to drink some ink. Now, yeah, I, we've definitely seen this room before, so I think... I'm not sure, maybe the layout of the game is set so that there's a fixed number of the types of rooms you could get. Maybe there's an algorithm that decides which rooms you do get to play in. But playing this game with headphones compared to speakers and playing it entirely on your own at night uh, trying to prove anything to anyone it it's actually quite frightening i have to admit and here we go we've reached our first checkpoint hang in there i am hanging in just fine actually and we'll save uh i think i have an old save in this game already and that probably overridden it now we're actually in a giant elevator if you take a look down here that's some, something i noticed and thought was really cool first time i played well the first time my friend played this game, I had absolutely no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, oh. Better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of Home Depot. 
feel like I'm missing a reference, but that's actually kind of creepy looking. And we'll go in. I'm going to try to do about 100 rooms per episode, depending on the speed of the episode. Hmm. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, but there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. And that, my friend, is blood. It's a lot of iron in blood. Drinking too much of it can give you iron poisoning. But if you're interested in, uh, in you know, more... Well, I guess you can't really call that chemistry. If you're interested in more chemistry, you should talk to some... Someone else. I study the sea. I don't really know much about chemistry myself. Although I did higher level chemistry in school and it was really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk a myth really quick right here, right off the bat. You cannot fall, right? You cannot fall no matter what you do, which is really good to know. So yes, uh, I guess diving right into this, I'm not making this particularly entertaining. I'm not scared per se. And I guess knowing a little bit what's coming on might make it look a little bit less entertaining, but I assure you that when things scare me, they will actually scare me. And that's what counts. That's that's why we do what we do. So. You know, what's interesting about this game is I play a lot of Minecraft. And when I say a lot, I mean I occasionally... I, I dabble in the game every now and then with a bunch of friends on a realm. And I feel like I've seen a texture pack that looks just like this. Right? So you can have the walls and the torches and everything look a lot like this. Maybe not nearly as dynamic, but I guess if you have shaders on and so on and so forth, it could be really nice. So this slows you down when you walk over it, and that's why I'm going to be avoiding these like the plague soon enough. But uh, yeah, I, w I actually thought it would be a really cool idea if I went ahead and tried to make maybe a thousand, a thousand rooms just like this in Minecraft and surprise my friends, maybe do it under our house or something. Of course, the sheer fact that you'd need to make a thousand of these is really bad. Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, and just invoking, nailing, never stops the choking. Oh, there he is. Alright, so... You know, I've actually never seen what he comes... Oh my god. You know, I said I wanted to avoid these, and I can't do it. Uh, you know, <laughs> it really doesn't look like it, but that actually... <gasps> he's coming out of them. Oh my god. I actually thought he just chases me, but he's actually coming straight out of these things. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but a chill kind of went down my spine. It's so it's the wrong side. The second that happened. So as soon as I saw him, it just really scared me. But hey, oh, he's, he's he can skip. He can fly. That's not okay. Uh, I can run, so I'm going to continue on. I think it's this way. I'm taking a big gamble here. Uh, I gambled wrong. I gambled wrong. But it's okay. I question why you can make a wrong guess. I mean, it's nice that they made it so that you can't fall off, but the sheer fact that you could just go the wrong way and walk right into his hands makes me wonder. So we're gonna run. Oh, oh my god. Okay, run. The volume on my earphones is kind of loud, but I can't really get my hands off <laughs> off of the keyboard to mess with it. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna live with it. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll survive this together. You and me. All of us. Now, like I said, sent a shiver down my spine, but I didn't panic, I didn't freak out, and so I did not hit the I was scared counter, right? One of the benefits of this game, I think, is even though, I mean, you can know what's going on and, you know, it could be a little bit scary to be chased, it's linear, and it's linear enough that it's quite easy for you to just keep running, and, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, how much better could you be at running than me, right? So, I mean... It's just pressing a button, so you just gotta, you just gotta survive it. Now, I think he stopped chasing me. I mean, it's a stupid idea to run back and look, but... But I'm curious. I'm an individual, and I couldn't hear his voice anymore, so I figured this is... Hmm, a note. Okay. I don't think that was wine. You are quite the astute individual. I have to admit. I realize I might actually be speaking in a very low volume, and if I... Oh, this is new. I've never seen this before. How, how do you answer it? Hello. Hello. Is this gonna trigger something? Yes, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh. Yes. Hello, hello. How long is this gonna last? Alright, never mind. I don't think anything special is gonna happen. 
Uh, oh my god, I've never seen these types of rooms. Oh, of course you're gonna do that, but that didn't scare me. I didn't, I didn't see it coming, but it didn't scare me. I know those get scarier. I know they do, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, speaking of Minecraft, so yeah, I was thinking about building this at some point, and um, I guess, <laughs> speaking of which, actually, I think one of the guys who's in the realm with me is probably going to end up watching this, so saying that was probably a bad idea, because it was supposed to be a surprise. But, I mean, it's a cool idea, I think. Um, rooms like this, I absolutely cannot mimic. I mean, I might just put water and a fence or something, but I probably shouldn't talk about a different games while I'm playing a certain game. It doesn't make sense. Uh, but, you know, this game is oddly relaxing for a game that should be scary, and I know it is a scary game. Oh, of course, of course he's coming back. I did not doubt it for a second. Uh, the visual, sorry, visual cues. Uh, the auditory cues are really useful in this game. What's there? Uh, nothing. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to figure out how how fast he can move. Like, so does he I don't think he actually travels through the door. I'm not sure if he just deloads and reloads the second I walk through a door, which means no matter how far I got from him in the door before, is he right behind me right after? I don't think you could run backwards. Oh, I saw that, but did not see that fast enough. Um, does he... Like, if I got into a small room and just waited a couple of seconds, will I just instantly get attacked is my real question. And we continue the run. Oh yeah, okay, so regarding my first friend who wanted to eat some McDonald's before coming in. So since I got him those, that McDonald's, I kind of almost felt like it should be a tradition. And since then, I've always asked my friends and treated them to a little bit of McDonald's um, and said, you know, we'll play a game. I'll get you some McDonald's. It'll be fun. Some little Mackey D's. And then my last friend did the same. Okay, so she got to about 100. She did. She, she found the game scary, but she wasn't particularly unnerved in the sense that she wasn't, she didn't quit because she panicked too much, but the game just made her uncomfortable, which is fine. I, on the other hand, decided uh, maybe I should get myself some McDonald's to celebrate myself starting this game. And I have to admit, it's oddly surprising to have taken this long for me to play the game. Because I'm really curious what happens later down the line. You know, uh, I know the game gets significantly more interesting the further you go. So it starts off very casual, and I mean, it lulls you into a false sense of security. What is this thing? And it does, but later on, it becomes super super nice i'm very sure of it so i i'm starting to notice these posters on the side that i've never seen before pillar make like a tree and die coming this fall it's really entertaining and we've got our little i'm sure that's a cat it's it's <laughs> it's cute enough all right but that's a hundred rooms i know i could obviously do more i could have gotten 200 rooms but I actually promised a friend of mine that I was going to play a game with him, and I'm going to do just that. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. My foot is numb. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know I just kept rant no, ranting. Uh, I kept pandering on about random things, but I need to get this video edited out, and I want to upload it soon. I, In fact, one of the friends who played this game... Uh, was will <laughs> I don't know why I can't phrase that well. One of the friends of mine who played this game suggested that she might actually watch me play it if I did. So that's what this is for. Hopefully she enjoys it. If you are, I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's going to be great. We're going to get through all 1,000 this time. And you don't have to actually play it. Assuming you can hear me. Uh, so thank you very much for watching everybody. And I hope to talk to you again soon in another video. Ooh.